Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing whether the secret you want to tell you spread for all of my cancers out there. So, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell all of my cancers out there? What do they secretly want to tell my cancers out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my cancers out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my cancers out there? Show me the cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, so. Right up, we have somebody from the beginning. We have the King of Wands energy, a potential fire sign individual here. Okay. <clears throat> Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. All right. This is an individual here that's thinking about the big picture, the long term, if you will. Okay. So they're thinking about where things are going to be, you know, potential relationship wise, like, uh, couple months from now a year two years from now so they're looking at the macro as opposed to the micro now um i do get the sense here that this is someone that you're already kind of in a relationship with here i'm definitely getting that that feeling here this is already someone you're in a relationship with here um and there's a great deal of arguing and contention has been taking place as of as of late here I'm um, a lot of arguing, like, like uh, as as far as future plans go, because this person is like really projecting, you know, I want we're going to do this, we're going to be moving here, you know, this is what our finances are going to be, and there's been a lot of arguing and conflicts when it comes to future plans that this individual has for the two of you together. So, in other words, this person instead of, um, in in instead of you know uh, a, a sense of compromise here. It's pretty much like they're saying, hey, I got this. Follow my lead. You're like, hey, wait a minute. Hold up. Uh-uh. Doesn't work that way. So they're kind of, they're, this individual trying to do the thinking from both of you. And you're beginning to have an issue with it. Now, with that being said, the wheel of fortune is definitely beginning to turn, okay, in your favor. Uh, because this person does have a tremendous amount of uh, passion, if you will. A lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of spiritual strength. Which means there's a spiritual connection, but there's a lot of passion this person has for you. And you are beginning to get your point across to this individual here. Um, because we also have a situation here where we have a King of Cups energy where this person wants to be generous and wants to be courteous. In other words, they want to be considerate, more considerate of your feelings than they have been thus far. So your message is beginning to get through here. They're beginning to say, okay, you know what? You know, maybe I I have overstepped my boundaries a bit. I was only trying to be helpful. I wasn't trying to be controlling. So your so your your message has gotten through here. We can see this here with the uh, nine of cups here. So your wishes are you know in the midst of being fulfilled here. This person is like, okay, I, I I see what you're saying. I get it. And we're getting a situation where we have the six of swords here, where you're moving into a more calmer situation here. You're moving from you move from a really choppy, chaotic situation with all the conflict and attention and arguing to a more smooth, robust understanding. So things are kind of calming down a bit here. So that's what's going on as far as that goes. So let's see what potential blockages you could be talking about. What potential blockages could we possibly be looking at here? What potential blockages here? Could we possibly be looking at it? What potential block could we potentially be looking at here? What potential block could we potentially be looking at here? What kind of block could we potentially be looking at here? Some cards I need to see. Some the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, these are some serious blockages, y'all. These are some serious blockages. For real. So, first block is this Ace of Cups. And that is deep love. See, um, all of this planning and all of that is good. But if there's no love, then there's an issue. Okay, so, um, you know, there's this real uh, 
they, they, you know, they, there's this aspect, this, this potential blockage that's beginning to form here is if this person is like, you know what? I love this person, but am I in love with this person? There is a difference. There is a difference. And that's really beginning to kind of come to the surface here, at least in, this, in, 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 in your mind. You know, it's like, you know, you know, because um, I do feel like this is your energy. Like, you know, it's like, I love this person, but I am I in love with this person? And so you're really beginning to kind of think about that because you're looking for a situation of the Ace of Pentacles here, real opportunity. An opportunity for a real tangible opportunity, something robust, something meaningful. So that's kind of something that's beginning to kind of uh, a rear its ugly head, if you will. In addition, here with the um, with the Eight of Wands represents communication, a great deal of energy, a great deal of communication. And as of late, um, there's been a great deal of communication that you've been having, uh, not just with um with your 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 significant other but there's I, I get the feeling here there's been a great deal of communication in to, to you know in a lot of different directions okay I'll just say that um, and there's been a great deal of socializing okay that you've been doing okay a great deal of socializing that has been taking place and I believe I get the feeling that there's this socialization is basically being done on your part okay? Um, and that's, that's why this whole Ace of Cups, like, am I, I love this person, but I, am I in love with this person? And also, as far as the Ace of Pentacles representing the true opportunity here, we also got the Hermit card here. Excuse me, not the Hermit card, the Hierophant card here. Hierophant card representing the situation in real traditional, a traditional deep love, long-term term committed relationships. So, in other words, you're beginning to question your relationship. You're beginning, you know, the arguing and the, and the conflict and the tension didn't help none. Didn't help none at all. But you're beginning to kind of start the question, you know what? Is this really something that I can see myself being in in the long term, in the long run here? You know, um, you know, because, and like I said before, you're, you know, you're, you're communicating, but you're also, I, 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 I'm also getting a sense here, there's other communications that you've been doing, and that, you're not, I'm not saying that you're, you're cheating, but there's been other individual, individual kind of showing interest, and you're like, you're beginning to question some things here. Now, we do have a two of cups here, and this two of cups repre represents a situation where um, twin flame connection, not twin flame connection, soulmate connection here. You're looking for a soulmate connection. And I, I'm getting a sense here that there is a sense that you have this so you have a soulmate connection with you're beginning to have a connection with someone that is a friend. Okay, that you consider a friend. And things are kind of really beginning to kind of take shape here. And you feel you're beginning to feel as though this may be more than just a friendship here, a connection. This this is a this is a maybe like a, a soulmate connection here I have with this individual because this goes a little bit deeper here. Because of that, we got this nine of swords energy here. You know, a whole lot of anxiety that you've been dealing with, thinking about this other situation, this other individual, if you will, questioning your situation. And this is causing a potential tower moment. The big kaboom is coming. Um, the big kaboom, kaboom is coming now. What you're going to have to, you know, come to grips here is like, hey, do you want to blow apart your existing relationship to move on to something else that's a lot more robust, a lot more meaningful? Or is this merely a situation where um, you, you're having a little bit of problems right now? Okay, you're, you're, you're going through that. You know, every relationship has peaks and valleys, and you're just like low in the valley right now. And you know, you're kind of feeling closer to other another individual, or other individuals, because right now you and your you and your significant other are having some issues. So that's what you have to rationalize. Is this, is this, is this something where you're just kind of going through something emotional right now, or is this something a little bit more permanent? All right. So that 
that is the issue here. So, with that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. Some cards. Ooh, let's see. Some more cards that I need to see. All right. One popped out and lit literally leaped on the floor. So we're going to take that one for sure. So, Spirit saying, 42, keep moving forward, okay? Keep moving forward, keep your back arch, keep your focus straight ahead, and keep moving forward towards your goals, okay? So keep doing you, in other words. Keep moving forward. Don't get distracted by anything. Keep moving forward. However, there is an alliance. There's friendship that's going on here. This, you know, there, you know, you could... It's more like an alliance. An alliance is deeper than just a friendship. There's an alliance so you can work together with this individual. So there is there is there is an alliance that's growing between you and this and this and this other individual here. And it's this is more than just a, a friendship type of thing. It's like a little bit of a crush. This has become a little bit more than that. And there's also this aspect here of rediscovery, and that's what's really beginning to happen here. You're starting to. Things that you thought were long since dormant are beginning to resurface, okay? Um, there's this aspect of rediscovery. You're beginning to discover new things about yourself, you know? Um, new interests, new likes. You're starting to look at things in a different way. Um, and that's directly connected to what's going on with this 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 friend, okay? So um, you have to decide if this is just something that's... Um, like a little blip in the radar, you're just kind of feeling a, a little something, something here because you're having issues. So, you know, you just need that, needing that shoulder to cry on. You know, this person has different interests, and they're kind of, you know, sparking this new sense of rediscovery in you. Or is this something where it's going to be a, a permanent thing here? So only you can tell. Okay, this is a general love reading. If it resonates with you, that's fine. Take those parts of it that resonate with you. Um, disregard those parts of it that do not. If it does resonate with you, I have a link. If it doesn't, just disregard the rest, okay? If you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will absolutely positively see you next time. Bye-bye.